Hello, everybody! And welcome to Undertale! Uh, I will be playing Undertale this... Whoop! Did we switch? We did not switch. There we go! Okay, so welcome to Minda Plays Undertale. Um, I have played this game before. In fact, I am wearing one of my Undertale shirts right now. It's like here. Like, very nice. It's got the whole gang on it. Very nice. I like it. I like it quite a lot. Um, I also have the uh, Toriel, the purple Toriel shirt, but uh, I couldn't find that today. It must be uh, in the laundry. Um, maybe next time I play, I'll, next time I play, I'll be sure to have, be wearing that shirt. Um, I also have, as you can probably see over my shoulder, a. Let's see, look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this was made by a friend of mine. Um, uh, you can find them on Tumblr at Ocelot Dude, um, and they make little throw pillows like this, uh, little nerdy throw pillows like this. Um, it's like in addition to the Undertale pillow here, they have like a ton of Pokeballs. They also have um, let's see, yeah, this Volt, the this Voltron pillow was also made by them. Pidge is my favorite paladin, as you can probably guess. Alright. Bang, bang, whoop. Anyway. But enough about that. So, so this is going to be a revisit. This is going to be a pacifist run. Um, uh, you will literally have to pay me to uh, do a genocide run of this game. Um, and I may have, and I may in fact set up a, you know, a reward system or something to, uh, so you can donate to that cause. But in the meantime, yeah, uh, yeah insert a generic username. I prefer the Delta Rune shirt too. Um, I have it. I own it. It's just dirty right now, so I'm stuck wearing the uh, family T-shirt. Anyway, so let's begin. Whoop! Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Okay, we have game. And there we go. Oh. And here we are. One day war broke out. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later. Mount Ebbet. 20... 10x. <laughs> Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Yum. <laughs> Alright, Z. Oh, actually, not in the window. There we go. Yep, and so yeah, here you can see from my uh, first and last game, uh, 517 minutes. I believe that's what that unit is. Anyway, true reset. Name the fallen human. Let's go with Minda. Small genderless name for a small genderless child. Minda. This is correct. Yeah, I would imagine, given the connection between the two of them, there are a lot of uh, Homestuck Undertale crossover things that are out there. Alright, and here we are. Welcome to Undertale, everybody. It's good to be back. Hey, Flowey. Howdy! 
I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I have a pretty good idea how things work around here, Flowey. Been around the block a few times. I guess little old me will have to do it. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very combination of your being. chat. See that? Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, L-O-V-E, of course. Not love. It's two different things. Two very, very different things. You want some love, don't you? <laughs> don't worry, I'll share some with you. Winky face. Down there, love is shared... Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Yeah, I don't think so. Did I? Did I miss them? Let's try again, okay? Nah. It's a joke. Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friendliness pellets. Nope. <laughs> Bet your ass I do, you freaking flower goat monster. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Die! <laughs> Whoop. Hey! Goat Mom to the rescue! <laughs> what a terrible treat creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yeah, that little... Yeah, the noise, uh... Flowey makes when Toriel bumps him is pretty great. Toriel Sprite does have colored eyes. Well, it could be, it's like, it could be like, actually significant, because like, in the battle screen they save color for like the really important things. I mean, the most color you get on the battle screen is in the final boss fight of the pacifist round. So that could be like just one more subtle clue connecting Toriel to Azrael. know why I'm saving when I have very little chance I'm actually going to die anywhere around here, but, you know, whatever. make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. What's this sign say? Stay on the path. See, I think I need to press this switch. Let's see. Now let's try this one. No, no, no! You want to press the other switch. I even label it for you. Oh, all right. Splendid! 
I am proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Yeah, let's see. First death in Undertale is before you finish the ruins. Um, yeah, that's... I'm trying to remember where my first death was. Remember, the two fights I struggled with the most were uh, Undyne and uh, and uh, Asgore, just because I was really stubborn on those fights. You know, it's like, Undyne, she will never give up. Yeah, well, I'll never give up either, and so we're just beating each other to death for all eternity. <laughs> Encounter the dummy. Meanwhile, my cat is trying to wrestle with me. Cat. We're going to be a bigger... This cat's putting up more of a fight than the dummy is. Alright, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. I spare the dummy. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Leave. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Dummy tires of your aimless shenanigans. You won! Earned zero XP and zero gold. <laughs> Toriel's <laughs> face. That's almost better than her bitch please face, you know, you know the one she always gives Asgore. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the next room awaits! <laughs> uh, well, she rallies. You gotta give her that. She rallied quickly. Alright. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oop. First frogget enemy. Frogget attacks you. Oop. Nope. <laughs> frogget didn't understand what you said. But was flattered anyway. Yeah, that face. I love that face on uh, Toriel. You won. Toriel is sick of your shit. <laughs> the lusty room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Yes, Froggen is friend-shaped indeed. That's why I always compliment him. Cat. Now that I've started streaming, my cat really wants to play. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Don't you hate it when games hold your hand like this? Uh, I tell ya. Too easy. Easy mode. Easy mode, I tell you. Let's see. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Lisa Joy says... I think Froggit might be another critter in a frog suit, like Mimiku from Pokemon. Hmm. Possible. I mean, wouldn't be any stranger than anything else in this game, that's for sure. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I 
would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I'm gonna try to go for the good endings for the monsters. I don't remember how to get all of them. Uh, Cause like, some of them are a little trickier. But, I'll do what I can. Yeah, all the Banana Men's ask, uh, am I going to try to uh, give the monsters the good ending, or just spare them quickly? Uh, what they're talking about there is, during the credits, um, the monsters show up with either white or yellow text, depending on how you dealt with them. Um, like, uh, the one I can remember is, uh, is there's that one singing fish, and if you, uh, get her through her whole performance, she, like, you know, it, like, the text reflects that she, like, got some more self-confidence or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that, because those are more fun anyway. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. <coughs> However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? See, if I was confident that I could actually keep up this, keep up and just talk by myself for a half hour, I would be tempted to just, you know, stand here and wait for uh, this whole situation to play out. Because you can stand here, and she will, and Toria will call you every five minutes, and it is a, it is a fairly amusing exchange. But I just don't have that type of that. I just don't have that kind of a uh, charisma. I think to. Uh, keep your all's attention for that long. So let's move on, shall we? You just get Aaron's name. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Click. Oh yeah, because like you can see with Froggit, there's like a little... It's that little... Looks like there's like a little... Eyes underneath his, uh... Underneath the frog. So it looks like a, it looks like a little critter is hiding underneath the frog suit. So yeah, I can see how that is. Talk to the front. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice to give you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Gotcha. It says take one, take a piece of candy. Yes. I will take only the one piece, for I am a good boy. Hmm. Whimsum approaches meekly. Halfway through your first word, Wimsum bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Zero XP and zero gold. If you do the pink names thing, do the credits turn pink too? I don't know. I do not know. If somebody else in chat knows the answer to that, please, uh, please say so. I'm a little curious about that myself. I'll be sticking with the yellow names, personally. Nothing against pink, I just like the yellow names better. <laughs> he 
It would be mildly disappointed if they don't. Though if you do do the pink names thing, there are a few spots in the game where it keeps the yellow names anyway. Like, I guess it just kind of glitched out and doesn't know what to do with them. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I go with cinnamon, personally. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. This is absolutely me whenever I have company over. Like, like if I have guests, it's like, would you prefer chips and dip or chips and salsa? Uh, uh, uh. And then, like, if they don't get back to me within a few minutes, I will just go out and buy both. And I'll have both of them just waiting at the house for uh, when, they, when they come over. This is, a, this is a true story, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for being patient. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Frog it hopped close. Yeah, in the battle screen you can see even more clearly the, uh, you know, the, like, little set of eyes underneath the, uh, underneath the frog. So yeah, it looks like, it looks like a frog costume draped over a thing. Rocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Spare a thought. Two gold. Goody. Alright, I need to blow my nose real quick. Much better. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, get the fun flowy dialogue. Cause like that actually, like that bit of flowy dialogue, that was actually what sold me on the game. Was like, so like, yeah. Here's how. Here's when. Here's exactly how I decided to play Undertale for the first time. Um, I was watching um, uh, a Let's Player, uh, specifically um, uh, Press Heart to Continue. Um, I'm, uh, that's her name on YouTube. Um, she's got like a zillion other names, but if you uh, Google Press Heart to Continue, you'll find her. And uh, in her Undertale playthrough, she. Yeah, stop playing with that. In her Undertale playthrough, she uh, got that dialogue accidentally, where what she did was uh, she killed, she got to the Toriel fight, killed her, um, and then felt really bad about it and did the fight over again and spared her. And of course, when she did that, uh, Flowey chastises you like, I know what you did. It's like, it's like, you killed her and you can't take that back. And when I saw that, that was the moment I stopped watching her Let's Play and, you know, just immediately went on a media blackout of everything related to Undertale and played it myself and beat it and then went back and started watching her Let's Play again. You know, it's, it's a hell of a moment when you realize that the game remembers what you do even when you reload an old save. All right, moving on. Ah, so close. Remember most of that, but all right. Oop. 
Hey, Crickswell. Yep. Frank I didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Yeah, Naps of Luke is pretty great. Alright, how do you get the yellow text for once of this? You just flirt with it, right? I believe. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? So you're asking me to move- you're asking me to move over? Alright, just for you, pumpkin. This is one of my favorite subtle jokes in the game, is that in the last room it said uh, three out of four rocks recommend that you push them, and, and if you count, here's rock one, rock two, there was a third rock in the other room, and then the fourth rock just does not want to be pushed. Three out of four rocks recommend that you push them. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, that's not good. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. There we go. Come on. Hmm? You want me to stay there? Give me a real workout. <laughs> yeah, I am. Console. Did the video go out? And somebody is saying that the video went out, but everything looks fine on my end. Hang on. Just checks. Okay, yeah, everything looks good. Okay, anyway. Okay, good. Video's good. Okay. Halfway through your first word, whims and bursts into tears and runs away. Leapfrog. That was flatter anyway. Cheese has been here quite a lot, for quite some time. It's stuck to the table. Squeak, squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. All the banana men, yeah. Yeah, try and just reloading the page, banana man, and see if that helps. Um, otherwise, I will be uploading this to YouTube later, so... Uh, it'll be there later for your perusal. This is, anno this is an annoying thing about my setup, is that the camera's right here, but chat is way over there, and so whenever I, w whenever I want to talk to people, it's like, I want to look at the chat, because that's what I'm looking at, but you're actually over here. So, I gotta, like, trying to learn how to not do that. <laughs> Napstabluk. Hello. Hello, old friend. Z Are they gone yet? Z Z Z Z Z This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. That'd be rude, but it's the only way. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yes, all the Banana Man says, the most satisfying part of the victory walkthrough is the cheese thing. Yeah, that is, that is pretty satisfying. It is, uh, it's seen that the mace, seen that all the mice got their cheese at the end of the pacifist route. Move it with force. Do, 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 do. Let's cheer him up a bit. Give him a patient smile. <laughs> Aww. Ghostly tears. Yep, so Luke looks just a little bit better. This is the way to get his yellow text right, cheering him up. I believe so. Oh, hi, Dorite. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost Battle, Dummy, and Spider Dance are a pretty good set of tracks. Uh, Spider Dance is my favorite version of the uh, lot of them. Something I'd really like to see is I'd like to, uh... Don't nap the book a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. I, I hear you, man. I get it. Something I'd really like to see is, like... Is, like... In, in the real world, there is... You could make a really great, like, tap dancing number out of Spider Dance, and I would love to see somebody do that. Cheering seems to have improved Napsabook's mood again. Napsabook wants to show you something. Let me try... I call it Dapper Bluke. It is a very dapper hat. Much more dapper than my, uh, backwards Captain America baseball hat. Napsabook eagerly awaits your response. Cheer. Oh, gee. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like Dorit without the O. Oh, uh, Dorit. Okay, gotcha. Dorit, right. Gotcha. Alright. And YD12K is going to bed. So, uh, good night, YD12K. Uh, by the time you wake up, this part should be up on YouTube. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Ah, the spider shop. Spider bake shale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Have 7G, so I guess I guess I'll just get a donut. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, do the uh, skip uh, when we get to uh, Moffat's fight. It's like I could just hold because I mean, of course, you can hold on to this donut, eat in front of her, and you sick, skip the whole fight that way. But but that fight's really fucking fun, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I do actually have a Dipper Hat 2, uh, generic username, but, uh, the, uh, this is slightly more, you know, not goofy looking. Did you miss it? Spider bag sale down to the right. Coming food made by spiders for spiders. Of spiders. But yeah, really the only reason I'm wearing this hat is because I'm going bald worse than war, and, you know, it's like, and I'm a little self-conscious about it. Not gonna hide it's, not, and so I'm, I'm not gonna hide the fact that there is. Well, I am literally hiding it, but I'm not gonna pretend that there is any greater, uh, you know, purpose to the hat. It's just I'm going bald, and I don't like that, so I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Sorry, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. 
Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit, ribbit. I hear using F4 can make you have a full screen. And what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Um... You know, I said I wasn't going to do the, uh, the pink, you know, the pink text thing, but, uh, you know, let's try it anyway. It'll be a fun adventure. It's bad. Really? Then I'll tell all of my friends to tell their friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? No more yellow names. Okay, I will let them know not to use yellow names. Ribbit, ribbit. How are you doing without yellow names? Bring them back. Huh? It's rather inconvenient that you changed your mind like this. Since I told everyone not to use yellow names, everyone threw theirs out. Well, last year it was fashionable to have pink names. I think everyone still has those in their closets somewhere. I'll ask everyone to look. But this is the last time. Alright, and now we have pink names when it's time to spare them. Alright. There's a fourth frog. Is it here? Oh. It looks through here. And remember, do you pick on him or not pick on him? Oops! That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> do you pick on him or not pick on him to uh, get the yellow text at the end of the game? I forgot. These people open their hearts. Open their home to me, and I insult their fashion choice for Shay Minda. Yes, I am. I feel very bad. Alright. So what do I do here? Do it. Pick on him. You rude little snipe. Do not. Finally, someone gets it. You won. Zero XP and five gold. Usually there's a hint in how to get the yellow name by checking them? Okay. Good to know. Right. There's an ant-sized frog in a crack in the wall. It waves at you. Hey, I found the fourth frog. I knew it was somewhere around there. Ring, ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Yeah, it's the other one that you have to pick on. That was it. There's just one switch. Right, there is also a... ribbon somewhere around here. There it is. Vegetable fight's kind of fun. Vegetoid attack six, defense six. Serving size, one monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Whoops. Eat your greens. A good life, a good moral um, from this game. Okay. Right, I 
fell down the hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me? Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. I have rescued the Napster Bluke. to go down that hole, or that hole really, to do another veggie fight, but I don't need to. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Alicia Joy is on her way to a uh, matinee of La La Land. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. The stigmatism, you have to wait for them to tell you, tell you what they uh, want you to do. Good to know. It's a switch, press it, yes. Read this. Press the red switch. No. She's gonna need to use an item. Seems evil? That's just with the wrong crowd. Yeah, the core monsters are great. Like, also there's like, Sundere Plain is, is the most ridiculous thing and I love it. Also the pie rope. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. I'm never going to use this thing, but I like collecting all of the uh, equipment anyway. Just because, like, they belong to the other kids, and so, you know. Gotta get all the artifacts. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. 
is irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. <laughs> Such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So we'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, I love this music. This is it. A room for your own. I hope you like it. Oh, something burning. Uh, make yourself at home. Oh shit! <laughs> Tried to full screen it and completely screwed up the stream. That was a whole... Well, that was kind of useless, but whatever. Anyway. Back to the game. An empty full of frame? It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and disparate... In... Disparate... Of disparate... Of, of disparity... Of dispar in the disparity of sizes. No. Oh. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. me some pie. I found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I want pie. <laughs> Minda baked me a pie, then mail it to me. I will pay for shipping. <laughs> you know, in hard mode it is snail pie. <laughs> That's another thing I could do after I finish the game, is uh, tackle hard mode. It's a water sausage. <laughs> My favorite area. Yeah. Hmm. My favorite area, that's. It's probably Waterfall. Waterfall has, like, a lot of great atmosphere to it. Like, you know, you've got the Echo Flowers telling you what it is that the monsters really want out of life. You've got Undyne tracking you at every turn. Uh, you meet. You know, a bunch of really fun characters in there, like, you know, uh, like Temmie, <laughs> um, and also the old turtle guy, whose name I forgot right away. What was, what's the name of the old turtle guy? He's fun. Um, oh, and Monster Kid, of course, you can't forget Monster Kid, so yeah, pro Waterfall, I'd say Waterfall is my favorite area. Um... Gerson, that's the name of the turtle guy? Gerson? Yeah, old man Gerson, he's great. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... bonely? <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. It's definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. 
Typha, a group of wetland flowered flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. I love the running gag with the water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> the cactus, truly the most tsundere of plants. True, very true. What's your favorite background music from an area? Um, favorite background music, it's a toss up between uh, Wetlands and this right here um, uh, for different reasons. Um, Wetlands is just really great, really moody, and the fact that the Wetlands background track is basically just Undyne's uh, battle music slowed way down is actually really cool. Like, like go on YouTube, you'll find videos of this. Just uh, of uh, just like Google like Wetlands sped up or Undyne music slowed down, and you'll find the. Uh, the tracks showing it off um but this background music right here in toriel's house is really good too and i've actually it's like i'll put a link to it in chat later uh when we go on break um there's it's like there's a really good video out there where somebody put lyrics to this background music and and it's really beautiful so i like this music quite a lot though i've been in there before Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you. Oh, it's a water sausage. Very good. Frisk can learn. The next larger size after a twin size bed is a queen size bed. Yes, it's also, a queen size bed is also uh, notably for two people. <laughs> which might be the other uh, hint that they are going for. Yep, water sausage. Triplets must feel really very regal, yes. These books are worn. They have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010X. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You can put your hands inside. I wouldn't want to do that. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Yeah, I have a queen-size bed all to myself, too, and it is quite nice. Although right now, half of it is covered in laundry, so... Which is also convenient. <laughs> the size of the pie uh, intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Hint, hint. Get ready for that. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spots. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Well, when can we go home? When can I go home? This, this is your home now. It's... I'm sorry, Toriel. It's... I can't. I just can't. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72, Use, 72 Uses of Snails. How about it? I would, but I need to know how to exit the ruined story. Well, oh, fine. Let's hear a snail fact. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails 
Sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature. Interesting. Okay, now let's exit the rooms. I have to do something. Stay here. Alright. We are going to uh, do the Toriel fight, and then we're going to take a short break. Uh, mostly for uh, the purposes of uh, splitting up the video on YouTube. Because, yeah, for my last stream... Um, I just put the whole stream up in one four-hour block on YouTube, but I didn't actually really like that. So now this will be, these will be much more hour-ish long videos, which should be easier to manage. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave here again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. Sorry. This has to happen. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. <sighs> nope. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Humph. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. It's like I was like I want to uh, uh, kill Toriel to get the fun dialogue, but I just realized that I forgot to save a while ago. So uh, yeah, I'll do it anyway. I can uh, reload. I can play back this last bit pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot to equip the, uh, toy knife. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, well, this is gonna take a while. Let's see. I don't know if, uh, Toriel's protective instincts, uh, kick in while she's trying to- while you're trying to kill her, so, uh, we'll just have to see. How this goes. Oh, seems to be okay. Oh, yeah, I can always flee. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. I'll make things. That's right. Go upstairs. Okay. So we're gonna save and then do a fun thing. Since when does Azriel, the dude who named his soulless flower self Flowey, have naming prowess? Yeah. Yeah, Azriel can't name anything for shit either, just like his dad. That's another great thing, too, is that there are a lot of really subtle connections to Flowey and, uh, and his parents before you are officially introduced to the fact that he is Azriel, like uh, the fact that he can't name things just like his dad can. And also the fact that he and Asgore both greet you by saying howdy. You know, like, at the time where, at the time you fight Asgore the first time, you have no reason to suspect that he has any relationship to Flowey. But they both say howdy when, when you start fighting them, and that, little details like that are fantastic. All right. Okay, so we're gonna, so we're going to uh, kill Toriel, but don't panic. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Toriel blocks the way. Oh, oh shit! Forgot that. What 
is. Uh, that's weird. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't open my inventory. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. Yeah, you can't equip the bell. Oh, right. I always forget that. Uh, well, it's like, I've never done... It's like, I, I'm a pacifist. I've never had to deal with that. <laughs> equipped in battle, but yeah, it doesn't matter now. Stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. So I did not kill her the really mean way. We're not, we're not that heartless here. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? Oh. My child. Oh. Oh. Go, um. Yeah, see, this right here is why. This right here is why I'm not up for a genocide route. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resurrect her in a minute, and I still feel bad about that. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. I really don't. I don't at all. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. Oh, can't I? In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you, humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Oh, I hate this one. Alright, and that's where we are going to uh, take a break for now. Um... We will be back in a few minutes with part two of Undertale. All right, stop recording.